beaten and left for dead in a brutal home invasion, Sherry Kalbaum then experienced a remarkable and life-changing visitation from God, one with implications for your own health and well-being. Hear her remarkable story of healing and restoration today on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, a program to help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and world events surrounding Israel. Today's guest is here to share a revelation that she received from God, one that changed her life and can help change yours. She's a living, breathing, and walking testimony of the power of God. She was supernaturally healed, not just once, but twice. And today, she's here not only to share her testimony, but to teach you how to lose weight quickly with fresh juice and raw foods. Please welcome to the program best-selling author, clinical nutritionist, and the gal most people refer to as the Juice Lady, Sherry Kalbum. <laughs> Sherry, welcome. Great to have Thank you. Come you. on, sit down. Uh, <laughs> wow. This looks really, really healthy. And uh, I just want to begin by saying I wanted you on the program because I just wrote a book on the afterlife. I'm very excited about heaven, but I'm not ready to go there yet. Oh, no, no, so, no. This is my New Year's resolution, and I believe God wants you to resolve to get in shape, to get healthy, because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So amen. I knew you were going to say amen to that. So, <laughs> Sherry, yeah. this all looks very healthy, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to hear a little bit about your story, and let's go back to your 20s. You had an incurable illness, and I've heard this from people that are really committed to health and wholeness, mm -hmm. that feel that God has assigned them to this, to give this message. They had incurable diseases, mm -hmm. they were very ill. You were very ill in your very 20s. Tell Ill. us about that. I had chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia. And I finally got so sick, I had to quit work, move home, move back with my parents, um, or my father and stepmother, and. I was so sick, you know, I couldn't even walk around the block. I was that ill. And so I was just in, crying in how, out to in God. In your 20s. In my 20s. And thinking, I feel like I'm dying. What happens then? God actually begins to direct <clears throat> you to juicing. I prayed and prayed, went to a health food store, found an old book on juicing, and started reading about diet and thought, wow, I'm way off base. My diet is all wrong. I love junk food. I said, okay, I've got to do something different because I think this junk food, fast food that I love has got me where I am and I need something to get me out and I need to cooperate with this program. So pray, 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 but I got to put this into action. Got my first juicer, bought a whole array of wonderful fruits and vegetables, started juicing, went on a five day juice fast. Day number five, my body expelled a tumor the size of a golf ball with blood vessels attached. And so. So you're talking I, about a five day, in five days, everything five changed? Day, no, the tumor left my body, but in three months, I kept on that juicing diet with foods now, whole foods. And in three months, I was totally healed, totally healed. So energy came back, uh, vigor, everything. Everything. I, I wanted months. to go jogging that morning. I woke up and thought, wow, I got a new body in the middle of the night. I felt, and I did. I went jogging. I couldn't even walk around the block before that. So it, Just juice? Did you just juice? No, did you, is that I, all ate, you? I, I did the five-day juice fast, and then I continued juicing about a quart to two quarts of juice a day, mostly vegetable juice, and I ate lots of vegetables. So you and, juiced yourself back to health? Yes, basically. and whole foods. I ate, too, and I ate some cooked foods, but lots of raw food. And then now we're back to a year later, and um, I'm house-sitting. I'm, I'm going back to school, and I one night... Three in the morning, I woke up with a chill, looked over in the corner of the room, here's a shirtless young man crouched in the corner. And I'm thinking, I think I'm seeing things, you know? It's a denial, like this can't be for real. He leaps up off the floor, and instead of running out the door, instead of going outside, he comes at me with a pipe and starts beating me over the head, 
over and over and over again yelling, now you're dead. And I'm thinking, I am dead. <laughs> and we struggled with the pipe, flew out of our, our, his hands, and I'm struggling trying to protect myself. And then he decided to choke me. And that was the point where I felt my spirit leave my body. It just popped out. And I said the words of Jesus, Father, receive me into your hands. And I knew that I was leaving. I was leaving this body. I was leaving this earth. And I was traveling very fast, uh, like rapid speed. And I could see little twinkle lights in the distance. So you were actually in process of dying or had died? Yes, or I had left died. my body. I did. When we come back, we'll discover what miraculously happened to Sherry and how God really brought her back. First, though, there's some important information that we'd like you to see. Take a look. Your gracious gift and support of the work of Jewish Voice right now will make you a vital part of providing life-saving medical help to some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. This care opens the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is their true Messiah. Today, we are urgently preparing for one of our next medical clinics to bless a remote Lost Tribes community in Zimbabwe, the Lemba, who consider themselves descendants of the priestly tribe of Levi, who have been practicing distinctly Jewish customs for centuries. We go with a powerful sense of urgency because we know that time is literally running out for many of the most vulnerable there, especially infants and toddlers, and that without our help, some of these precious sons and daughters of Abraham will die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. But you can help save them but we must act now. Call or click to share life-saving help right now, and we'll send you two very special resources as an expression of our thanks. For any gift of support, we will send you the eye-opening DVD by today's special guest, Sherry Kalbaum, the Juice Lady, in Healthy and Fit for Life, 12 Keys to Lasting Weight Loss. You'll learn simple but powerful lifestyle changes you can make to transform the way you feel, look, and live. Plus, you'll receive this inspiring CD by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus called Tasting the Bread of Life. Both inspiring and eye-opening resources are yours when you share any gift in support of the life-changing outreaches of Jewish Voice. And if God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $100 or more today, we also want to send you Sherry Kalbaum's life-transforming book titled, The Juice Lady's Turbo Diet, Lose 10 Pounds in 10 Days the Healthy Way. In addition, we'll send you Jonathan Burness's new book, A Rabbi Looks at the Afterlife, offering a biblical view of heaven and hell and riveting eyewitness accounts of those who have traveled beyond the veil. Plus, another book that will have you powerfully proclaiming God's healing promises in the meaningful original Hebrew book, Our Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, Healing Edition. Finally, as an ongoing expression of our thanks for choosing to help so many in need, you'll also receive a subscription to our illuminating and inspiring magazine, Jewish Voice Today. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people. To share an urgently needed gift in support of this vital outreach and request your thank you resources, please call, click, or write now. Please remember, the days are short and the needs of these people are critical. Please act now. Beaten and left for dead in a brutal home invasion, Sherry Kalbaum then experienced a remarkable and life-changing visitation from God, one with implications for your own health and well-being. Hear her remarkable story of healing and restoration today on Jewish Voice. I'm speaking with best-selling author and nutritionist Sherry Kalbaum, who recently wrote a new book called The Juice Lady's Turbo Diet. I love that turbo diet lose 10 pounds in 10 days the healthy way. But Sherry, before we get into your book, you were telling us about 
what may have been a death experience or certainly a near-death experience. I don't know how well we'll sleep tonight with this story, but you saw somebody crouched in the corner of your room Mm-hmm. and he lunged out and began to beat you and you actually left your body. What happened then? I did. And I was traveling very rapidly towards some twinkle lights in the distance and I'm thinking, I'm on the way to the City of Lights. And the next thing I know, I'm back in my body, but I'm not where I left it. I left it inside the house and I am back in my body outside the house and down the end of a long walk. Were you bleeding? Part of my scalp was torn off the top of my head. So I was bleeding profusely. So I'm in the hospital. Now we're fast forward and the detective comes in and he's asking me all these questions. This was a couple of days after the accident. And he said, I have one question. I'm just really curious. How did you get outside all the way down the dog or sidewalk or dog run to the fence? And he said, there was a puddle of blood by that fence. There wasn't one drop of blood in between. Interesting. Isn't that? I didn't know. I had no idea. I said, I I, I haven't a clue. I, I left my body, literally, popped out in that bedroom, and I came into my body outside a long way from where I left. So I have no idea. And they found you probably on while they were patrolling the area. I screamed and screamed, and a neighbor heard me. And her husband got me into their house. They called the police. Oh, well, and which wouldn't have happened it, if you were inside. They wouldn't that's have heard right. that, of course. One night I had this dream and I saw Jesus actually walk into the room and pick up my lifeless body. And boy, can he do CPR. He blew into my mouth and I saw this lifeless body like come like a shock, come into life. And I saw him carry me out. And he said, you bled on me. That's why there was no blood in between. And he propped me up where I could start screaming and get help because they said if I had stayed there on the floor with that profuse bleeding, I would have bled to death. It was three in the morning. No one would have found me. And I was house sitting for uh, friends of the family who were on vacation. So nobody would have even known I was there uh, in that state. God clearly had a plan for you. He He uh, had a plan. So now let's, let's fast forward. You're in the hospital. You're badly beaten. What happens next? Okay, so uh, I just happened to get to the hospital the morning that the top hand surgeon in Orange County was there at 6 a.m. Is that a, no surprise, right? So my hand was in horrible shape, and this is the part of the story I want to tell because I don't want people to think I just believe that this is going to heal us of everything because I know the great healer and I have a miracle to show you. So my hand was badly crushed. This a little, um, not little, this ring finger was hanging by a little tiny piece of skin. It was almost torn off my hand. My hand was split in half. I could see all the way into my hand. And when I came out, they told me that uh, these two knuckles were destroyed. They were only um, powder and bone fragments. And the surgeon said, I pulled your hand together as best I could. There are three pins holding it together and you'll never use it again. Now, God gave you a vision. I want to move to the vision that God gave you, a vision of a battlefield. This is, I believe, a very important word for us. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the vision. This was several years later. I'm married now and I have a vision. And God shows me his soldiers lying on the battlefield with their armor askew, in pain. Written across them are labels, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, lupus, scleroderma, on and on and on it went. And I see these soldiers, a vast array, a huge field of soldiers. I walk amongst them and I see them in pain and writhing and holding parts of their body that are ill and cannot stand up and fight the enemy. And I see evil spirits, especially going after them because they're down. This is certainly speaking to me. God has spoken to me about health and getting in shape and staying in shape because there's a lot of work ahead. And I believe he's speaking to many of you today and Sherry listed diseases. Many of you are fighting one of those illnesses and you can believe God for healing, but you have to do your part. We have to do our part. Now, let's move into the focus on juicing. You see people's lives Mm. change when they juice. What do you see happen? 
dramatically I've seen people healed all over the world. I've had people come to me or read one of my books and I've seen cancer, heart disease, diabetes turn around, MS, uh, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, what I had on and on, you name it practically and I've seen it healed. This is what the Lord is speaking to me and I've had a number of prophetic words as well. It's the cooperation yes. with the Holy Spirit. I believe in divine healing, but I also believe in cooperation yes. with the divine, with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And to receive divine healing, it's a mixture that all has to come together. We have to be obedient. We have to eat right. We have to exercise. We can't just do what I've sadly done over and over again and believe that God is just going to sustain us with health yes. and wholeness. We've got to cooperate. We must. So organic. Everything's organic here. Let's look at some before and after All pictures. Right. I love this. So we're Marianne. Okay. Tell us about Marianne. Here is Marianne who joined my group. Uh, I have a seven week course on healthy and fit for life. And Marianne lost 20 pounds and in, in f about four and a half weeks, 20 pounds. But here's some other good news. Her cholesterol went down to normal and she did not now need cholesterol medication, her doctor said. And she said, hooray, I didn't want to take it anyway. She got more energy and she said, I feel so much better now than I did before. Now she looks better. How, how long is the period from the before and after shots? About four and a half weeks. Four and a half weeks? 20 pounds and feeling like a new person. That's All pretty right. amazing. Isn't that, that exciting? That is just amazing. We've got to take a quick break. Up next, to discover how you can lose, listen to this now, 10 pounds in 10 days. And this is not a fad. It's not a fad. You can do it. You can do it today. First, a very important message that we'd like you to see. We'll be right back. Your gracious gift and support of the work of Jewish Voice right now will make you a vital part of providing life-saving medical help to some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. This care opens the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is their true Messiah. Today, we are urgently preparing for one of our next medical clinics to bless a remote Lost Tribes community in Zimbabwe, the Lemba, who consider themselves descendants of the priestly tribe of Levi, who have been practicing distinctly Jewish customs for centuries. We go with a powerful sense of urgency because we know that time is literally running out for many of the most vulnerable there, especially infants and toddlers, and that without our help, some of these precious sons and daughters of Abraham will die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. But you can help save them but we must act now. Call or click to share life-saving help right now, and we'll send you two very special resources as an expression of our thanks. For any gift of support, we will send you the eye-opening DVD by today's special guest, Sherry Kalbaum, the Juice Lady, in Healthy and Fit for Life, 12 Keys to Lasting Weight Loss. You'll learn simple but powerful lifestyle changes you can make to transform the way you feel, look, and live. Plus, you'll receive this inspiring CD by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus called Tasting the Bread of Life. Both inspiring and eye-opening resources are yours when you share any gift in support of the life-changing outreaches of Jewish Voice. And if God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $100 or more today, we also want to send you Sherry Kalbaum's life-transforming book titled, The Juice Lady's Turbo Diet, Lose 10 Pounds in 10 Days the Healthy Way. In addition, we'll send you Jonathan Burness's new book, A Rabbi Looks at the Afterlife, offering a biblical view of heaven and hell and riveting eyewitness accounts of those who have traveled beyond the veil. Plus, another book that will have you powerfully proclaiming God's healing promises in the meaningful original Hebrew book, Our Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, Healing Edition. Finally, as an ongoing expression of our thanks for choosing to help so many in need, you'll also receive a subscription to our illuminating and inspiring magazine, 
Jewish Voice Today. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people. To share an urgently needed gift in support of this vital outreach and request your thank you resources, please call, click, or write now. Please remember, the days are short and the needs of these people are critical. Please act now. Beaten and left for dead in a brutal home invasion, Sherry Kalbaum then experienced a remarkable and life-changing visitation from God, one with implications for your own health and well-being. Hear her remarkable story of healing and restoration today on Jewish Voice. My guest is best-selling author and nutritionist Sherry Kalbaum, affectionately known as the Juice Lady, and she's recently written a new book, The Juice Lady's Turbo Diet. I love the name of the Sherry. Turbo <laughs> Diet. Lose 10 pounds in 10 days the healthy way. This is very different. What makes this healthy? This is healthy because you have one to two glasses of fresh vegetable juice a day and you have low carb, bad carb, but you have good carbs. The vegetables, great emphasis on that. And lots of wonderful, wonderful recipes in here. No one starves. Everybody finds great flavor, great taste, great food. Someone once said, if you can't, when you're reading the ingredients, if you can't pronounce it, don't, get don't it. eat it. That's right. Practical advice. No, I want to point out first, before we talk about what we're, we have here on the table, it's not just about <laughs> losing weight. No. It's about health. It's about getting in shape, getting your body in shape by what you ingest. We've got some great healthy stuff here. It's all organic. Tell us about what we have here. I'm well, going to try some stuff too. I don't know if you want to take a taste of okay, this. Tell this me is what my we have. Okay, we have a beautiful raw soup. This is a quick energy soup. Everybody says, oh, I'm so busy. I'm too busy to make healthy food. Nope, I made this in about five minutes. It's carrot juice with lemon juice, a little bit of ginger, and avocado. And I just blended mm. it all up really fast. And that ginger is an anti inflammatory. And the carrot give you beta carotene. What do you think? I could eat that. I could eat that. Oh, thank heavens. It's, it's not bad. I can taste all those things. Uh-huh. Taste the lemon. It's good. Okay. It's good so and it's fast. You can have fast and you can have a great lunch. These... Really easy to do. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, this is uh, onion rings. And I marinated them not in... Not your typical onion ring. Not out. your typical okay. onion rings that go on that green you, bean casserole. We're going to let you try some of this soon. Mmm. <laughs> That's okay, that's phenomenal. All right, We're, we've gone from okay to phenomenal. Now, You're gonna love this when you try it. This kale chips. Really, totally healthy though. You don't, totally. onion rings typically. Oh, these, I have nutritional yeast on them that give them that little crunchy coating. Okay. Nutritional yeast is rich in B vitamins. What do these we have? also have some nutritional yeast on the kale chips. And it's kale chips. lemon, olive oil, and apple cider vinegar mm. that they're marinated in with mm. Good by potato chips, that is. Is it? Delicious. I mean, these could almost be addictive, right? Easy to, yes, you, I could eat the uh -huh. whole bowl. Uh -huh. Easy to make? Easy to make. Oh, it's so easy to make. There's Here's oil what you in do. Those. There's olive oil, taste, which is okay, good for olive you. Olive oil. You just all shave that. All oils are not the off. same. No, and, and not even all olive oil. Now, these are not fully dehydrated, so we're just going to not taste them. They, they need to be crunchier. But these are jicama crackers that are just wonderful. Hickama crackers. And then this is my morning energizer juice to get you going in the What's morning. What's in here? Beet, lemon, carrot, apple, ginger. Whoops, uh-oh. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. I'm so glad this you like it. This is not stuff I would normally, It's it's got a tang to it. It does, got a it's little, a lemon. Not and, normally stuff I would think about, but I'm on board here. This all is, right. now, mm. when we think about prophecy, you may not connect it with food, but health, getting yourself in shape so you can fulfill your mandate, your end time mandate, your mm -hmm. end time destiny is important to God. And I believe many of you are being spoken to right now by the Holy Spirit. Be obedient. There's still so much more to talk about. So Sherry's gonna be joining us again next week. In the meantime, if you want to lose weight, 
and improve your health. I know I do, I'm gonna do it. These three incredible resources from Sherry will help you to do just that. Her latest book, The uh, Juice Lady's Turbo Diet, Lose 10 Pounds in 10 Days the Healthy Way. Her latest DVD, Healthy and Fit for Life. And you can also join her e-training course where you'll receive even more help on improving your health and meeting your weight loss goals. By the way, don't go away. We have an important message, so stay tuned. Just ahead, we'll be back. Imagine celebrating the miraculous power of the Passover against the breathtaking backdrop of the sparkling Eastern Caribbean Sea on board a luxurious Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Rejoice at the Messianic Passover Seder led by Rabbi Jonathan Burness, remembering God's mighty hand delivered the Jewish people from bondage. Worship because the miracle held a mystery revealed and completed in Yeshua, Jesus, the Passover lamb and ultimate sacrifice for our sins. This is the Jewish Voice seven-day Passover cruise on the turquoise waters of the Eastern Caribbean and the enchanting white sand islands of St. Martin, St. Thomas, and Nassau, Bahamas. You don't want to miss the beauty, worship, and celebration as we share the mystery and the miracle of the Passover on the seas. Join Jonathan Burness and Jewish Voice April 16th through 23rd, 2016. Cabin Space is limited. Book now for the best rooms and rates. Call or click today. Since 1967, Jewish Voice has been dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is Messiah and Savior to the Jew first and also to the nations. Now, one way we do this is by helping some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. We demonstrate God's love by providing medical care, dental care, eye care, even eye surgeries, all completely free of charge. And most importantly, we share the gospel. And it's through your faithful support that gives us the ability to make a difference in their lives. Right now, we need your help. I'm gonna ask you to be a part of saving lives, of transforming lives, of blessing desperate Jewish people by sharing a generous gift today. Will you do that? If your answer is yes, we have some very special ways of saying thank you today. I've selected some helpful and encouraging resources that I'd really like to send you. You can just click, call, or write today and request them. And remember, your generous gift is gonna be used to help some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. Hey, by the way, we're on Facebook. You can check us out by going to facebook.com slash Jewish Voice and then click like and we'll keep you updated on everything happening here at Jewish Voice. Well, we're out of time, but as I leave you today, I want to remind you, as I do in every program, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They need our prayers now more than ever. And the good news is that if you pray for Jerusalem, the Bible says you will prosper. Until next week, this is Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Jewish Voice is made possible by the support of friends and partners like you. 